Hey guys, it's been a while because I've been working on challenge locks. This is the latest envelope. It's a package of uh, five locks from Brent in Australia. He's labeled them A through C, and I think there's a Z here. But the one I found really interesting is this Keba 8. It's a dimple lock. You don't often see these. Let me move this stuff out of the way and get him clamped up, and we'll show you that he works. Get him oriented right. I want the dimples on the top so we can get at them. I have picked this lock by single pin picking and that's not the easiest way. I'll show you how the easiest way in a moment. Here's what your key looks like. It is an eight dimple lock. They're all located on the top and you notice they're offset from each other. In other words, that dimple on the first one there is in between the first two there. So a little bit hard to get in there. This lock I believe was removed because it's a little bit sticky but it does work. And I found that single pin picking is not the easiest way to get into these locks. I'm going to show you how to do it with the only useful Goso pick from the Goso kit. Give you a close up of that. It's kind of a dimple rake. Now you've heard me say light tension. Every lock pick video says light tension, light tension. Today I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say heavy tension, heavy tension, because you really need them. In fact, let me tighten that a little bit more. You really need to put the tension on the tension wrench. And then take your pick and just force it, literally force it in there, and then jiggle it. Come on, get in there. Then just jiggle it in and out. And <laughs> I didn't think it would happen quite that fast, but that's how you open a cab of eight with a rake. That's the fastest way I can find to get into them. Anyway, fellas, stay safe, stay legal. Brent, thank you for the lock, sir, and I'll see if I can get busy on A through Z here. Thanks, guys.